Riveting content, empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. This episode is sponsored by Houston Housewives of Finance. For more information on increasing your cash flow, becoming your own money manager, and to schedule your complimentary personal finance strategy, contact the Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463. Elite Dental Wellness. At Elite Dental Wellness, Dr. Ashandra Batiste understands that one of the biggest obstacles is dental fear. The vision at Elite Dental Wellness is to ensure every patient is treated with respect, ultimate care, patience, and love. Call us today to make an appointment at area code 713-789-789. 8680. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at the sphere.tv or call us at area code 832 772 7789. Welcome back to another episode of A La Carte. I am your host, Chef Jones, with Personal Chef Service Good Meal Deals. I said that so backwards today. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it's the cold outside, but I'm a Personal Chef with Good Meal Deals Services, where we're customizing the best part of the day for you, and I'm joined with my partner in crime over here. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. This is Chef Lornette with Helping Hands Food Delivery and Catering biggest boldest flavors in houston um, catering services for all of your needs welcome to another episode of a la carte chef robin said we're happy to have you with us today oh yes yes, yes. We're bringing you all the good food news food tips safety education safety, education and all of that all and of course stuff. recipes recipes come on yes. we're cooking <laughs> <laughs> we're cooking we're cooking so what we got for them today something that is a favorite a favorite this is good news today our food based news, news is, is y'all y'all know we usually always had a bad news yeah so in this segment no no salmonella no outbreaks no deaths no no we, <laughs> we had have, to be sweet for the holidays yeah so. there we go sweet there we treats go. for the holidays sweet treats for the holiday we following that trend still. we have happy vibes for you guys we have um unicorns and <laughs> <laughs> and rays of rays of sunshine yeah. um today we're talking about starbucks yeah and when starbucks is in the news usually it's a good reason so Always. today we're talking about their new holiday drink yes yes i don't know how many of you guys like going to starbucks but i love going yes. to starbucks okay my favorite one is the chestnut praline i was just talking with you about that yes. one i get that successfully like but i've had ones that are not so great but well the new flavor um is pumpkin spice Ooh. okay so it sounds it sounded a little more abrasive and harsh than i expected <gasps> until i read the ingredient list and i was like oh that actually sounds pretty good, good. i might have to try that i'm a fan of pumpkin though so i'm, I'm it, not it always works out pumpkin pie like yeah. pumpkin pumpkin anything i'm not good. a big pumpkin fan however i feel like starbucks can successfully blend the flavors together with the list of ingredients mm -hmm. so not only do they have a new flavor but they also have new uh colorful fall cups which you know everyone knows their, say, like their the cups. cup matches the flavor exactly their cups are a big release uh, item for them every year oh so God. with the new pumpkin spice it's a pumpkin spice latte um so it started in august which i didn't realize it had been out this long but it's still mm -hmm. it's still in stores now which I, isn't august a little early but that's technically well, fall you ready for the fall time when the pumpkin fall. patches start to you know yeah show yourself and i guess good stuff so, so in likes. in the list of ingredients i'm reading from their their list here it's the latte is made from maple pecan syrup express espresso and milk it's topped with um fall inspired orange and golden brown sugar crystals you have to ask for whipped Ooh. cream which i think is crazy wait, i should wait, have go back whipped to cream. The sugar crystals what kind of sugar crystals uh golden brown and orange sugar crystals okay okay mm -hmm. that's the best part you that, think so that's the best part yes because to I, me i'm thinking the whipped cream i mean that is too it just makes the whipped cream better that when they better. put it on top that's right okay when i get my chestnut praline they put those little praline, the brown the crystals what? so good <laughs> on top of the whipped cream then i gotta go add my extra vanilla and cinnamon and Do gotta it turn it up <laughs> so they say that it's surprisingly unsweet 
but it has a good flavor. Okay, okay. So I'm, I'm definitely going to have to test, test I'm this. I'm going to have to try that because if it's not that sweet, but the flavor. But that's why I'm saying that's usually why I'm not a fan of pumpkin because it's not sweet, it's more bitter. Hmm. You know, you, you get that, that dry sugar. taste, but especially I like, when you're I like cinnamon. bitter stuff. See, I um, like bitter stuff. I'm not a big fan of sugar like that, so. This one has a warm, nutty flavor that's comforting with a mouth-coating richness of maple syrup lingering after every sip. Wow. Quote, unquote. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to see. We get that in every sip when the we The maple it. syrup, I I, th- I imagine it's tasting like a pumpkin pie or, you know, like a sweet potato or something. Yeah, you know, pumpkin pies aren't really that sweet either. Yeah, yeah. So I think I can, I can relate. Yeah. But I as long relate. as they have the syrup and the sugar. Yeah. It would have that sweet, savory, and that whipped cream. Sweet. Yeah, the whipped cream is whipped a must. Cream. That's I think a must, must y'all. Any you you gotta have a whipped cream. How dare you, Starbucks, not <laughs> include the whipped cream with the drink? I mean, some don't. I mean, but it's a necessity. You gotta know which one to ask for. That's the thing. If you ask which for the, if you ask for the wrong drink. I went to Starbucks <laughs> when I first started experiencing Starbucks, and mm-hmm. I thought I was getting a cold drink, and mm-hmm. I got a hot drink, and mm-hmm. I was looking for the whipped cream. And I was looking for cold or hot. It yeah. needs to have whipped cream on I it. I had to understand the coffee world. It's like Starbucks one on one. I go there for the whipped cream. I need the fanciness, <laughs> <laughs> the fancy I swirl go there for on my top of my drink. So. Yeah, the double chocolate. You know the chip, flavor I did not like though. I Aside from these new flavors, which I think gonna be really good, I did not like the mm-hmm. eggnog. Really? Oh my gosh! It tastes like the bottom of the coffee pot. Oh. That's I didn't like good. it. I didn't like it. I was just so upset. I said, never again. I usually come here for my chest and the praline, and I tried something new. And I, I didn't like the unicorn. Did you try the unicorn? Mm-mm. It was like Mm-mm. it was like drinking sugar water. Mm. <laughs> it was too Nasty. sweet. It was way too sweet. Wow. Anywho. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anywho. So, I'm going to have to try that chestnut. It sounds good. No, you have to. It's yeah. the die for. So pumpkin spice is the new flavor of the season with Woo-hoo. Starbucks and the new awesome colorful cups. You guys have to try it. Let us know what you you think um we'll yes. definitely try it and you can check us out on our social media and you can see our reviews of the new and uh, show Starbucks off y'all drink. cups too when you yeah. get the new cup so yeah. that's definitely something new you know you usually got the clear cups mm-hmm. but now they're stepping their game up a bit giving out well they always do the cups. holiday cups like yeah. last year had the the snowflake on i it. think it was red yeah it was they, red. Were, they were red last year yeah so this year they switching it up i like fall the new colors. colors fall yeah. Although we going into a winter. I don't really care about the cups. As long as you make my drink right. When I ask for a double chocolate right. chip frappuccino, You got to go to the right Starbucks, man. <laughs> you absolutely You got to go do. to the right Starbucks. <laughs> so, hmm. <laughs> Starbucks for the holiday win with this this new drink. And we're definitely going to try it out and make sure you um, send us your reviews on it and let us know what you guys think. Yeah, hashtag a la carte. We want to... We want to know. We want to know, you guys. We want to know. And I'm pretty sure coffee is a big thing now. Like, so y'all can't say it. Tell me y'all ain't going to Starbucks. People go to Starbucks religiously yeah. every day. It's part of their daily routine. It's part of people's get, budgets. It's part of their budgets, life budgets, exactly. to go to Starbucks and get their Frappuccinos, mocha lattes, espresso shots, you name it. So It's pretty addictive, but... Yes, it is. So, speaking of the holiday season upon us, um, we've just come off of two major holidays. We have a few more coming up. Yes, we do. So, what we're talking about today, we found this awesome video that shows a couple of holiday food hacks, um, party hacks. So, if you're the host of the holiday party for all of your friends and family, this will be good for you. Um, So, it shows different things that you can do to make your holiday party a win. Yes. And with all these holiday hacks that we are going to show you, before we actually get to that, we do want to make sure you guys are understanding the importance of finance, which brings us to this part of the show, which is sponsored by the Houston Housewives of Finance. So did you know that only four states in the United States offers financial education 33 percent or more than 77 million of americans don't pay their bills on time 39 percent of americans carry credit card debt from month to month and 39 percent of adults say they don't have enough savings don't become one of these statistics let the houston housewives of finance advise you on increasing your cash flow and becoming your own money manager by scheduling your complimentary personal finance strategy that yeah. strategy i can't even talk this morning <laughs> you want to contact the houston housewives at info at houston housewives of finance.com 
and ask how you can participate in their complimentary financial literacy workshop near you. The Houston Housewives of Finance are the new faces of the new age of the financial services. So definitely, if you want to take advantage of these holiday hacks and all these great gifts that people have been buying. Yes. You got to hide your finances right. So okay. don't break the bank planning the party. Don't break the bank. Take a look at this video. <laughs> Get all of the party food hacks, holiday party food hacks. Mm-hmm. Take advantage of the savings. Yes. All right. So we're going to run that video and show you guys some of these hacks and go over the details with you. Easily update a, a shaping dish, serving dish. Ooh. I thought this was actually super cool. I see. Something super And it looked easy. very easy. And as you can see, they are being safe. You know, they got their safety PPE on. The gloves. The gloves. Yes. And mm-hmm. just using the right utensils for the job. I mean, that just completely jazzed that up the whole so table. That looks so good. I've never, thought of, I've never thought about that. Me either. Mm-hmm. So coming to a table soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, the heated bricks, I have used this before. It's a great way to keep your food warm. I've never tried this. Mm-hmm. Wow. I've done this for a cheese so that you, the cheese doesn't get the, the film on top. Mm. And it's cost efficient. You mm-hmm. don't have to go out buying all those little. Yes. Well, you know, I work in construction side. <sighs> Just took a few bricks. Took a two bricks. Take it. Make it do what it do. Now, this is super cute. I've never done this, but I've seen it at events with the flowers and fruit inside the ice cubes. Wow. Really cute. Freeze the platters first. Yes. So your trays can go into the freezer, like how we do hot and cold plates. That's right. Yeah, this is a a pretty familiar one in Mm -hmm. the culinary world. So what they did was they wrapped ice packs um, Mm -hmm. in cloths. Around the plate. And put it in one plate and then set the other plate on top. So you had like a double stacker plate. Okay, okay. And it's wrapped in a a napkin that matches the plate color. Nice. I thought that was pretty cool. See, there you go. You can see the ice packs wrapped in the towel. I thought though, if you don't really take a good look, you'll think those were popsicles they put (laughs) down. (laughs) Because I I took a quick glance. I was just like, oh, okay, cold plate, popsicles on the plate. Yes, so actually temperature (laughs) control your plates. So that's common, like Chef Robin said, common knowledge. We do that all the time. Cold food, cold plates, hot food, food, hot hot plates. plates. So we've done that, but going the extra mile with the um, the uh, ice packs. Yeah, just to ensure that it stays cold. Stays so. cold. That's pretty cool. And it's presentable, too. Mm-hmm. Very presentable. Absolutely. The white napkin with the double plate. And then it also gives you some plate height variation on your table. It does. So, it does. Right. And it saves you space. That mm-hmm. is the one thing with trying to set up a table with catering, yes. having the space yes. for it. So. And you would never see it there, but you have some some variation on the table mm-hmm. and the shrimp stay cold or appetizers, yeah. whatever the case may be. Looking good. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. So um, we're going to go into this portion of the show, which is sponsored by Elite Dental Wellness. So at All Elite right. Dental Wellness, our vision is to create a welcoming practice that will offer exceptional dental care and a lifetime of dental wellness. We are committed to the finest possible oral care and the overall health and well-being of our patients. Elite Dental Wellness is built upon a foundation of integrity, expertise, and service. Through our commitment to modern dentistry, continuing education, and friendly atmosphere, we strive to make our patients feel that they are a part of our family. Dentistry can be scary, daunting, and uncomfortable. Dr. Baptiste and her team work tirelessly to ensure your comfort. Make your appointment today with Dr. Ashandra Batiste at Elite Dental Wellness by calling 713-789-8680. Hey, and make sure you guys are seeing the sphere when you call in. Get that 10%. 10%. You know, this is the time, too, a very, very good time. I want to just add to something. You know, people with their dental insurance, you really want to take advantage of that. And they're really, like, man, advertising that. So yeah, before the end of the year. So go ahead and hit up. Ms. All these Batiste. holiday parties, all this food you're consuming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all this holiday candy. We can't leave that out. Cause yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of candy involved with Christmas, too. <laughs> And so today we're going to hop right into our recipe of the day. Yay. And today, um, this recipe is actually a standalone dish. And usually it's served as a side or a part of a buffet spread or a holiday party spread. And it's delicious. It's delicious. Oh and it's gotten gosh. so much positive feedback that we have pulled it. And we're going to highlight it as a, uh, a recipe on the show. And it's Yay. our corn casserole. Corn casserole. Who doesn't love corn? Yes. I mean, like, it just corn fresh corn canned corn 
Corn. Well, it's my favorite personally. Um, yes. I'm a fan of corn, as we know. I put yes. it in everything. <laughs> y'all gotta check out that spaghetti. Let's check y'all. out that spaghetti, okay? <laughs> spaghetti recipe um, on our list of spaghetti. recipes from a la carte. Mm-hmm. But I'm a fan of corn, so this was oh, yes. a um, a win win for me, yes. and it is super easy to make. Very easy, very inexpensive. If yes. you can't afford corn, I mean, I don't know what to tell you because <laughs> they usually got it on sale for two. Two fifty cent, four four yeah, dollar. Four four dollar usually. Come on. Yes. Get you some corn, man. <laughs> so we're gonna go over our list of ingredients with you guys, which is a very short list. This is almost like very a quick short. six, actually. Yeah, that's why I said it's very inexpensive. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys can handle it. <laughs> so um, our list of ingredients, and then we're mm-hmm. gonna talk about our good, better, and best options. Which yeah, it's kind of hard to make the best thing even better, but <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. A car can do it. So so on our ingredients, we have actually six items: um, whole corn or corn. Cream corn, shredded cheddar cheese, and this is actually optional, uh, sweet cornbread mix, butter, and heavy cream. Yes. So we're going to specify a few things. With the shredded cheddar cheese, that is optional. You can use a white cheese if you prefer. Um, mm. The sweet cornbread mix, that is actually the package of cornbread mix, and it has to say sweet, sweet. Cornbread, cornbread mix. Because if it That's doesn't, right. then you're getting a non-sweetened cornbread mix like a, a Jiffy or um, on your mama. That. And that's <laughs> not the same product. You will not have the same you're flavor. You're going to be disappointed. Very. Disappointed. So follow instructions. Follow Don't call instructions. us and say, hey, it didn't taste oh, good. Oh, another thing I want to point out, too. Cream corn, y'all. Okay. Yes. You know you had a moments when you go in the grocery store and you're just picking up corn and you don't realize what you got till yes. you get home. Yes. You got to say. Cream. Cream corn. And also, <laughs> with the butter, we are using salted butter, which is regular salted butter. butter. That was another thing I was going to say. Do it, not get the unsalted. Yeah. You want the salted, regular fat butter. <laughs> that just what makes it better. Butter makes everything better. We yes. talk about that a lot here. Yes. That's Lord Nat's thing. Yes. Butter. Do not skimp on the butter. the butter. And it's not a matter of skimping. It's just a matter of, of pain, noticing, yeah. um, being aware. Because with the holidays, a lot of unsalted butter is out for baking. Yes. Um, so it's usually right next to each other just with a different color package. And it'll yeah. say salted or unsalted. Usually, well, depending on the brand, it's usually in a blue or mm-hmm. red package. Blue or green. Blue or green? Yeah. I don't know. I see blue is, red, too. Blue is salted. Green is unsalted. Okay. It depends. I think that's like yeah. the Great Lakes, the Great Lakes yep. uh, brand. Great so. value, Great Lakes. Um, it's great. It's just great. Imperial. It's I mean, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure you guys have either mm-hmm. what you would normally buy, which is regular, or if you do get the labeled one, make sure it says salted. Salted butter. So that was the traditional, the good way. So in the uh, way. fancy way, what you can yes. do, you can do a four cheese combination, or yes. you can use a quote unquote fancy cheese. Fancy like, cheese, um, more cheese the better. Asiago or Swiss. Yes. You can always add some crumbled bacon on top. Extra crispy, extra y'all. crispy, and extra on crispy. top. Do not mix it into the <laughs> batter because it will get salty when I mean soft, soggy when it bakes. Mm-hmm. And then white corn. Yes. So not hominy. If you're looking at the cans, do not get hominy. Yeah. White corn. Hominy White is corn. not going to have the same taste. It's not. Uh-huh. Also, uh, I know we don't have it on there, but jalapenos for those people that like, like it spicy. spicy. Mm-hmm. Throw in some hob. Uh, I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say habaneros habaneros. with jalapenos, y'all. Do not throw a habanero <laughs> in there. Jalapenos, <laughs> habaneros, serranos. Yeah, Any so you can do a, a nice pepper. Now, the mm-hmm. pepper you can actually mix into the batter. If you dice it and mix it into the batter, that would be pretty cool. Yes. Or you can dice it and put it on top. Okay. Uh, with the bacon, do but not I, mix it I into think, the batter. I think I would like it mixed in. I agree. That would just be too strong on top. I mean, just a little bit. But a little bit. I would mix in the jalapeno, the crumble the bacon on top. Mm-hmm. Um, and, of course, our healthy way, mm-hmm. which will be using yellow corn. Yellow corn, or you can get the whole cob of corn mm-hmm. and just and peel it, peel it right off, peel it off the, um, peel the leaves my, off. That's my favorite and way. And grill oh. it first. Yeah, so good. So take the whole kernel of corn. They you just sell them in the stores in the produce section. It has that's the one with the leaves and the hair on I told it. Told y'all four four dollars. You <laughs> can't miss it. It's always on sale. Peel the leaves off. Peel the hair off. Rinse it, mm-hmm. and then just put it on in a cast iron skillet to get a little grill mark, a little it. char to it, and then take a knife and cut the the kernels of corn off of the cob. Super easy, and Super a easy. completely 
different additional level of flavoring it's added to your corn casserole. Super fresh. Like I'm a fan of. I use it a lot mm-hmm. in my meal preps because mm-hmm. it's just the bomb. Like fresh. Yeah. You can taste the freshness. It's just that corn. Like mm, it has a punch. When you eat that corn. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely, um, if you want to get really fancy, I would I would do the charred corn. I think that makes a huge difference. Yes, and it's it does. really good. It's and that's good. really good too, like a corn, because you know corn is so versatile. You can do so many different things, like you saying with that charred corn. Mm-hmm. You could do uh, corn salsas with charred corn. Mm-hmm. Just corn take you to another place, man. Because <laughs> it's the best. It's I'm the best. You. I'm that's a corn fan. You know how you got dinners? Yeah. It's either corn or green beans. I want <laughs> corn. <laughs> I take both. I want corn. Corn on the cob. Extra butter, please. Yes. Mm-hmm. So. That was are your um, good, better, and best options for the corn casserole. So what is traditionally a very simple dish, like we say, initial ingredients are the quick six. You can amplify it and make it a standout dish on the potluck, for holiday parties, for work, for, for family gatherings, for um, tailgating. You can buy anything. Yeah. Like- we actually use this. We use corn. We take corn casserole to our tailgates, even. Wow. So, because it's I'm one of those. I'm going to incorporate simples. more corn yeah. into my daily routine. And okay. it's super easy to make. <laughs> if, once you guys um, get with us in the kitchen, once we head over to the kitchen, you'll see how quick it is. One bowl yeah. and bake, and it's really simple. Done. Like, very simple. And it's no big mess. So, you guys definitely have to make sure you're getting your recipes. Mm-hmm for this corn casserole because you don't want to miss it and you can flip it any way that you want to do it doing the traditional way the healthy way or the fancy way even if it's other things that you guys want to try we want to see what you try with this this corn casserole so we want to make sure you guys once again are hashtagging us on social media on instagram hashtag a la carte Mm -hmm. you also make sure you guys are following us at the sphere also you can follow me at good meal deals Helping hands food delivery. There you go. See, she just told y'all where to find us. Uh, but <laughs> speaking of that, that just brings me to this part of the show. There we go again. I can't talk today. <laughs> <laughs> that brings me to this portion of the show, which is sponsored by the Sphere TV. And so, are you starting your business and looking for a place to advertise? Do you need to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand or sell your product? If so, Get your product placement advertising needs handled right here at The Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States as well as modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dialogue coupled with your strategic ad is surely to hit the mark every time. So make sure you guys are giving us a call today at area code 832-772-7789 or you can even send an email over to advertise at the sphere. Dot TV. So we want to hear from you guys. If you're trying to advertise, whatever it is that you're trying to do, get that word out there. Be seen in the world. Hit On us the up. sphere. On the sphere. This is where you got you to gotta be here. So make sure you guys are taking advantage of that great opportunity. So Absolutely. So we're going to get ready to head into the kitchen and cook some corn casserole. I'm looking forward to it. Super excited yes. um, to go over the and options sure of this dish. Make sure you have your aprons on as yes. well. Get your aprons, print your recipes, yes. get your ingredients out on the counter, and get ready to cook some corn casserole. Yes, yes, yes. Let's head to the kitchen. Welcome back to the kitchen portion of a la carte. I'm your host, Chef Jones, with Good Meal Deals Personal Chef Services. And I am your host, Chef Laurinette, with Helping Hands Food Delivery and Catering. And we are here once again with another wonderful recipe um, mm-hmm. to cook with you guys. So we, yes, we we've do. talked about a lot of entrees and main course dishes. And so this um, episode, we really wanted to focus on side dishes. And one that was really popular and got a lot of requests was our corn casserole, like we said. So, we're giving you the a la carte special on corn casserole. Yes, most definitely. Everybody loves casseroles. Everybody loves corn. corn. <laughs> like, corn. It's the perfect combination. Corn. And it's super easy to make, guys. It's super easy, super simple. Um, so again, six ingredients, and we're Very mixing ins- them in one bowl, and then we're just cooking. So, 
It's All almost right. like a quick six. Basically, quick six. All right. So we're going to get started. Um, we start with um, our ingredients. We have heavy whipping cream, butter, cream corn, whole corn or corn, and a sweet yellow cornbread mix. It has to be a sweet yellow cornbread mix, not the regular or the um, cornmeal. It has to be a sweet mix. It sweet. makes all the difference in the flavor. Yes, it does. Okay. Yes, it does. So we have our big bowl here. We're ready to mix. Yes, we are. Give me the goodies. Oh, did we put that can opener away? We need to. Oh, no, we don't need it. I've opened them. Oh, sweet. So I actually like to start with the corn in the bottom of the bowl. Okay. So this is our whole corn of corn. And we're going to drain the liquid off of this one because we, we don't need that. Mm -hmm. We just need the actual corn. Just the corn, you guys. Got a good meal coming to you. All right. So, one can of corn. Get all the corn out. I'm a big corn fan, which I think we've talked about a couple of times on the show. So, <laughs> yes, she has. And then one can of cream corn. And we have our cream of corn. Shake it, but don't break it. Eh? No. <laughs> All right, oops, and then our cream, one cup of heavy whipping cream. Yes. And pour it right on top. Looks like and something then. special. Super fancy. Quite a mix. You gotta mix it up. Don't be afraid to use your fingers. She just got in there. Get all that cream out of the. My hands clean. You need all of that. And then one pack of the sweet cornbread, yellow cornbread mix as well. All right. And now with the butter, uh, we're going to do a half a cup of butter. You can melt it. It kind of uh, mixes a little bit better if you melt it or if you at least have it room temperature. And that's what we've done. So our butter is softened. It's room temp. And just a half a cup. And it's measured on the butter stick. You can kind of see it there. So we know exactly how much to use mm -hmm. and then just cut it up into smaller pieces so that it's mm -hmm. easier to mix into the batter. And you drop it right on inside. Mm -hmm. This is going to be really, really good. Get all the butter, guys. Don't leave out no butter. <laughs> no butter left behind. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to stir. And so this is, um, that's it and kind of mush the butter into the other ingredients and when you mix it's going to be a little bit of chunky because you have the corn and the cream corn mixing with the um the powder from the cornbread mix yeah so it's not going to thin out too much yeah but you just want to make sure you get the vast majority of all of the cornbread mix inside mm -hmm. mix from the sides and the bottom incorporate it very very well and you see we have our shallow baking dish here that we're going to be using. Ungreased. Ungreased because we have put the butter on the inside and that's the reason for that. And uh, it will, the butter will come through the batter when it starts cooking. If you put grease in the pan and have the butter in the recipe, when you cook, it's going to get really greasy because the butter is going to come out, the oil will melt on top. It's, it's a yeah, mess. Yeah, it's going to be a big mess. So, And you'll be able to tell when it's ready because it'll release itself mm -hmm. from the pan. The edges, mm -hmm. it'll release itself. And you'll be able to take it right out. All right. We're good to go. Yeah, so that looks good. It's a semi-thick consistency it's still a liquidy kind of creamy when it cooks the cornbread mix is going to turn in a little more solid so it's going to have the appearance of cornbread um and then you can just sprinkle a little cheese on top give it a little tang oh good all right so here we go pouring that right in the pan you can see there and this is something that's very quick and easy it does not take a lot of time at all like very easy you can pop this go to the store get those six ingredients and bring it to any occasion sorry <laughs> she had to scrape that bowl <laughs> get every bit and then kind of even it out so you don't have any high or low points in the, the casserole there mm -hmm. and it also helps get the air pockets out because we can't yeah, you know, some people like to do the old school way. The Pick the pan up and drop it. Can't do that with glass, though. It. So when you spread it around with your spoon, it gets can't the Can't do it with the glass, up. not the Pyrex. 
not the Pyrex. All right, and that's it. So we now have our corn casserole. It's ready to go into the oven and bake. It bakes for 30 to 45 minutes, and it depends on your oven at 350 degrees. It's going to get nice and golden brown on the top, and then you sprinkle a little cherry cheese on top, and you're good to go. Yeah, I was even thinking, like, with this recipe, if they wanted to take it a step further, they mm -hmm. could even do some jalapenos mm -hmm. to give it that spiciness, you know. Mm, that's a good idea. Spiciness, jalapenos, the, the corn, batter. the cheese. Man. Little, add a little jalapeno into the batter. That would be a good addition. Yeah, puree, like get it real minced up, really, really small, and yeah. just. See, I don't do spicy, so I guess. I'm not a spicy person either, but I can just see it. I'm it never just crossed a, my mind, but I like that idea. Food person, so. I can see that being a, a good one for most people. So, yeah, doesn't take long, 30, 45 minutes, and then like we said, just you can do your different toppers: bacon, jalapeno, bacon. cheddar cheese. Hold on, we gotta take a step back. <laughs> bacon i forgot about <laughs> the bacon the bacon <laughs> excuse me now she's on bacon, bacon you guys and jalapenos mm -hmm. with the corn yes yes with all, the cheese all of that goodness all of that goodness i can't believe i forgot about the bacon how could you forget I i've been trying to tell that. you <laughs> She we got the stuff, butter so to we her. got the bacon yes the jalapenos the bacon gets off the, the, the grease the goodness the love we call it I'm not even going to take it a step further because I got something else in my mind <laughs> to put with this, but I ain't going to do that. <laughs> but yes, you guys can make sure you get this recipe online at www.thesphere.tv slash a la carte. Mm -hmm. Print this recipe out because yes. it's very simple. simple. It's a quick fix, quick six, however you want to say it. <laughs> we got it for you. So, and it's um, delicious as always. Always. And you also want to make sure that you guys are subscribing on all of our major platforms out there, iTunes, Google Play. SoundCloud, awesome. Stitcher, and of course we are newly uh, added to iHeartRadio, so you mm -hmm. want to make sure you check us out on there as well for you radio listeners. Absolutely. So, It's been great cooking with you guys as always, and um, we want to see some pictures. Make sure you email us at a la carte at the mm -hmm. or hashtag us a la carte yes. so we can see your corn casserole. want to see that bacon <laughs> now jalapeno <laughs> on top yeah, of I that. I was even thinking sour cream. Mm. Little, sour, little, uh, little dollop on top. Yes, just nah. a little dollop. I'm sour going too far with it. On the cornbread? Yes. Oh. See, she's going to try to get me to try some of that, that other stuff. <laughs> Put some butter on top. <laughs> I'll take butter. <laughs> yes. All right, guys, you guys have a good one, and we look forward to seeing all your pictures of your corn casserole.